and do it two to one next best at five to one winnow seven to one mrs m eight to one dolce notti and indian temple is being cut from 14s then on 11 to 1, Mandalay, 14 to 1 is Master Bomber, 20 to 1, Hightown Cavalier, they're lining up, and 25 Spa. They're off at Taunton, let's join our commentator. Towards the first of 15, Winnow and Dodge and Notte are two of the early leaders. Close behind them, Hightown Cavalier is prominent, also Miramari, and on the outside, Mandalay with Dunnick's view. That's the leading group as they cross the first fence, and Sea Stamp is some way behind the others at this very early stage. Paula there will pick that one up in a moment or two. Mandalay and uh, Supreme Flame both went at that one. So they race off down to the first of the open ditches. Dolce Notti from Winnow in second, Dunnick's View in third. And uh, Dunnick's View was a faller there and Smuggler's Point a faller there. So a fair bit of grief so far as they go to fence three. Dolce Notti the leader from Glendo and Winnow and then close behind these Hightown Cavalier racing just ahead of Miramari. Several lengths behind these then comes Mrs. M racing together with towards the outside Indian Temple as they continue down the far side of the course with Dolce Notti having uh, taken a clear lead some five lengths from Winnow in second a further gap of a length then to Glendo in third as they race round the turn at the far end. Miramari is uh, fourth they turn towards uh, home now for the first time. Dolce Notte leading by four or five lengths. Winnow is a clear second. Glendo third down the inside. And then after these, Miramare four, Hightown Cavalier five. And close behind these as they come up towards the next one is Master Bomber. And now towards the second of the fences in the straight. Sea Scamp continues at the rear of the field, out of touch, but continuing in the contest, as Dolce Notti is the leader and has been pretty well throughout. So coming down to the fence that will ultimately be the last, and Dolce Notti by only two or three lengths now. Winnow in second, Glendo the favourite going nicely third, a clear third on the inside. Two or three lengths back then to Hightown Cavalier in four, he's six lengths off the leader. Miramari five, Mrs M six, and then behind these come Indian Temple in seven as they go to the water jump, this one racing with Master Bomber. Sea Scamp is way behind the others as they race now for the turn out of the home straight. Now they'll turn to run down the far side and for the time being the first fence in the back straight has been dulled off. That was where there was some grief first time round so there's obviously still a problem on the landing side. The runners will miss the first in the back straight. So they'll go straight to an open ditch. Three fences on the far side, six in all to be jumped. And as they go down to the first of them, still quite a long way before they get to that, Winnow has now come up on the outside to join Dolce Notti. Gap of nearly two to Glendo, who's third, similar distance. Hightown Cavalier in four, a bigger gap after this uh, to Indian Temple in five. And then behind this one, Mrs. M, who's making some ground. And last of all is Master Bomber. And looking back for C Scamp, no sign has probably been pulled up. The others go to the open ditch, and this is uh, dolled off as well. So we've got two fences dolled off down the far side. That leaves them just two to down the far side. So Winnow and Dolce Notti. They go to the first of them, the plain one. Winnow from Dolce Notti. Glendo, a bit of a scrappy jump there in third, joined by Hightown Cavalier, or very nearly in fourth place. Mrs. M's five or six lengths back in six. And then behind these comes Miramari. At the ditch, the last on the far side. Dolce Notte and Winnow with Glendo nicely on the bridle on the outside. Now upsides Winnow. The pair of them strides for stride. Dolce Notte is beginning to drop off them in third as they round the turn out of the back straight. Now the three fences in the home straight, they're all clear. They'll jump all these three as they turn in. And from this point, about a half mile, a little bit less perhaps to run from here back now to face the first of the three in the home straight, the last three fences. Glendo is now clear. Winnow is in second. In third then is uh, Miramari as they come down to this one with Hightown Cavalier in four. Glendo safely over it, about four clear. But Winnow's just cutting down this lead a little bit as they go down 
to the second last. Glendo from Winnow. Hightown Cavalier is now third. And after these, in uh, fourth place, Miramare. These four long, long way clear of their rivals as they come down to the last with Glendo clear from Winnow in second. Glendo's gone. Met it all wrong. He's hit the top. This leaves Winnow in front from Hightown Cavalier. And then after these, Miramare comes in four as they race down towards the line. And uh, Winnow, all these loose horses in front here, but Winnow, the first ridden horse to cross the line, from Hightown Cavalier in second, and in third place, Miramare. Full SPs at Taunton, five to one, the winner, second favorite, 20 to one, the second, Hightown Cavalier. Miramare, third, 33 to one, favorite fell at the last.